So a few days ago, the first administrative officer robot in South Korea was found dead in what is believed to be a robot suicide case. The robot was working in Gumi City, Kanzo, and what makes this to be a suicide case is uh, from what uh, the witnesses had to say. And according to them, they first saw the robot circling one point for a long time before it went ahead to throw itself down the stairs. Now, the thing is, this robot, uh, it actually had an ID, like you will have an ID so that you can be able to access all the floors in the building. So it had an ID that it can be able to use the elevators to move uh, within the building so that it can be able to access all the floors. It did not need to use the staircase. and But it went on and used it to throw itself down so that it can be able to kill itself. Of course, this is still under investigation and maybe soon we'll be able to know the truth. Now the Kanzo officials expressed their grief highlighting the robot's diligent service and considering it as one of them. This incident has gone ahead to you know start a debate about the future of AI and worker well-being even for machines. Remember there was a time of a video of Agility Robotics digit from Agility Robotics also collapsing due to working for a long time and uh, this story of course raises many questions like did the robot malfunction was it hacked or is there more to robot intelligence than we currently understand. So for Stay tuned for further developments in the strange tale of robots' unfortunate suicide case and the first suicide case of its kind. See you in the next one and I hope you stay cool, man.